Hey, it's Lee from Best at Losing. I apologize for moving the table just now. Um, I'm here with another pickups video. Uh, for the past almost two months, I've barely gone video game shopping uh, just because I was busy. Now, I did hit the yard sales once, and uh, in my most recent video, you'll see you you might have seen that uh, I got some some games through my work, actually, as a reward. Um, now, I did actually go to the game store about a couple weeks ago. Uh, I hadn't recorded my pickup, but I've got it now. So here it is. Um, not the biggest of titles. I've been kind of cash-strapped because, uh, well, I had a combination of things happening, but, you know, bought, bought tickets to a, to a festival, a music festival, and it kind of drained my bank account pretty well. Um, so I've been working my way back from that. Uh, I feel like I'm on the verge of being comfortable. This month will be a little tight, but next month I should be back to kind of my regular budget for buying games, so I'm looking forward to that. I uh, still managed to pick this thing up. Uh, this is Thunder Force 2 on the Sega Genesis. Um, box is in pretty good shape. I believe the game is okay. Yeah, game's in good shape. You'll note, no manual. Um, not a big deal for me on the Genesis. I've never been a big fan of collecting for manuals. I feel like it's a very limiting factor for Genesis games. It kind of boosts your price by sometimes 100%. So, um, I don't need a complete, but I need the case and I need the game for a Genesis. I got that here. Uh, this game was listed at... Man, I cannot remember the price. I remember thinking... You know, complete, I would expect it to be X amount of dollars, and it was probably about $20 less than that, which is what pretty much what I I had expected to pay for the case in the game. So I didn't get an amazing deal by any stretch of the imagination. I say that all the time because it's usually true. I tend to pay pretty fair rates for games. Um, but it was nice to go to the game store. It was nice to pick up a game. It had been a while. It feels good to get back in the flow. I'm, I'm missing collecting games. You, you wouldn't think that you would miss buying stuff. But I legit miss buying video games, searching for video games, finding moderate deals. So yeah, Thunder Force 2, a shooter. Really excited to add it to the collection. The Genesis has been kind of the focus of my collection of late. Not the only thing I pick up, but certainly the one that I look, at, look for the most. Um, I have one more really big target on the Genesis if I can get a little bit more credit built up on eBay um, because I am selling a few things. I'm hoping that I can kind of drop drop a bomb on a really big title and kind of get it out of the way and then I can kind of diversify my collecting a little bit. I really... The Genesis, <laughs> Genesis is a tough one because it kind of jumped in price just before I really jumped into it. But I don't know how much more it'll jump in price. Uh, finding lots is almost impossible right now. So you, you pretty much have to find individual games, put up for sale, and get a good deal on them. So we'll see what we can do. Thunder Force 2, cool title. Uh, like I said, I'm excited to get back into collecting. I'm excited to get back into recording videos. We had a lot of stuff going on down in our apartment, uh, which basically meant that our kitchen was a disaster zone for a while. Um, now everything is kind of cleaned up ready to go. Uh, not perfect, but certainly uh, manageable. Certainly, I'm not embarrassed to film my table when there's nothing on it. Uh, when it's loaded with all sorts of junk, it's a little more embarrassing. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.